God bless this iPhone camera. I am a hot, sweaty mess right now, but somehow it just makes me look like I'm more glowing and tanned and glorious. <laughs> now look. I just did a gym session. Let's, let's start yesterday, shall we? Because you know I like to egg out a story. Yesterday, I trained with my one-to-one -one trainer at my, um, at my gym. I had an amazing session, like amazing. Really strong, really fit, felt incredible. Um, and even my trainer at the end of that session was just like, really good today, G, like really good session. It's like, yeah, felt strong. So this morning, I got up, went for a sea swim with my friend. And I mean, a sea swim, like we got in the sea, freaked out because how fucking cold it was, kind of got in and I was like, my foof has gone cold. I feel like I'm sitting on an ice block, my poor vagina. If I had balls, they'd be in my stomach right now. Variations on this kind of theme. And then I eventually just got in, did the thing and it was fun. And then we had coffee and stuff. And it was just like a nice way to start in the morning. Now I'd planned to go to the gym after that and I was like, right, I'm gonna to go to the gym. I'm gonna do my session, my lifting session, um, which I'm doing with Vamp, um, who if you've spent any time in my life, you'll know that I train with Vamp a lot. And we're doing a new program. Uh, together she's she's taking me through a program, a one-to-one -one thing where we build my athlete and we start building the mindset of the athlete and all of that good stuff. Now. It's very interesting because, sorry, she just sent me a message because she's seen my little, ah, I had a freak out. So she's like, don't worry. <laughs> but I want to share this with you because I think it's really valuable. I went to the gym and I could feel that I, on the way there, I was like, I feel, my body feels a bit tired, actually. I feel like maybe I'd be better off training this afternoon. Oh, but I meet my friend tonight for... Uh, for a drink at five and I don't want to like be I, I want to have loads of free time this is my thing right I want to have loads of free time in between um finishing whatever it is and then like getting to like laze around with the dog watch Netflix chill out have a nap do meditation whatever I want loads of free time before I go and do this thing in the evening even though what I'm doing this evening is nice because I'm gonna go and spend like a couple of hours with a friend you know, like it's not like I've got to go and do something horrible but in my mind I always have like this feeling of like well not always but occasionally I'll have this feeling of like pressure to create space so I thought right I'm going to go and do my gym session now because I've planned to do it now and that means I have lots of time in between I got to the gym I started my session and I was already on the warm-up I was meant to do 15 minutes on the row I did about eight and I was like I'm really fucking bored I'm just gonna stop doesn't bode well does it I then went and did my squats my one rep max that was great um felt really good about that like I could feel there were some niggles and I'm probably not quite doing it right but that's the whole idea at this point in this program is to like learn and evolve find the bits that need tweaking yeah so I'm like cool that's fine got the right mindset got about four exercises in dumbbell thrusters so eight kilograms in each hand got to do uh 10 for eight minutes every minute on the minute got to do 10 thrusters and then i get a bit of a break and then the next minute starts and i have to do another 10. i did the first set and i was like oh i can feel that my base isn't stable i can feel i'm like wobbling i've got a bit of a twinge in my back oh fuck and i just got in my head and then i just i and then i i gave up like i get i had already given up before i like fully gave up you know so i did about four or five sets of those and then i was like nah fuck this and I literally just wrote in, in the app that, I, that has all the exercises in that my trainer keeps an eye on. I was like, look, I gave up, got into a spiral, feel like a piece of shit. I'm off, like I'm out, you know, like this. I know this is part of the learning, but I really feel like a piece of shit. Um, and I could feel that spiral wanting to happen. And it was so fascinating to me how yesterday, great training session, great day. Today, not so great training session, that negative voice kicks in in the head and it's this fucking massive negative spiral that wants to happen. No wonder, as humans, I'm sure I'm not the only one who does this, like, please let me know in the comments if you have this pattern as well. When something, when I do something, I attach my worth to action without even knowing that I've done it, right? If I'm conscious of an action, so for example, for a while I 
<laughs> kind of attach my worth to how much money I made, which I don't do anymore because I was okay. I did it. I made a lot of money. I felt great. And then my money would dip one month and I'd feel like shit. So I saw this cycle of like, oh, I've attached my worth to how much money I make. Well, that's not healthy, <laughs> you know? And I, so I, I adjusted that. So I no longer do that. But with this, yesterday, great training session, felt good, felt worthy, felt great, amazing day. Today, shit training session, feel like, a, like an actual piece of shit. And what I wrote in the title of this live stream is what my brain was saying to me. You're a piece of shit, you're a fuck, why do you even fucking bother? Who the fuck do you think you are? You know? And I was like, whoa, what the fuck? Where did this come from? The gift of the amount of inner work that I've done is that when that happens and when I can feel it like bubbling inside of me, I can spot it and I can watch it and I can allow myself to almost like split off a little bit and kind of feel it without allowing it to suck me under. Not always, sometimes it will suck me under. I'm not fucking perfect, you know, that's, perfection is not the goal. Uh, maybe it should be. Maybe that's where I've been going wrong all this time. Hmm. But in this instance, it very much was just, I've I, as I walked out of the gym, I realized like I've attached my worth to how well I do at the gym, you know? And so this is a learning experience. And it also showed me, no wonder I stay in my comfort zone, which albeit might look more uncomfortable to some of you than your comfort zone, because I'm I do things maybe that, you know, you would deem to be adventurous or whatever, like getting hit in the face in boxing or whatever. Like, you know, sometimes people see the things that I do for fun and they're like, fucking hell, well, that's out of my comfort zone. But it's subjective, right? So those things are comfortable to me. Those things are comfortable because I'm doing them a long time. I know, dare I say, I know I'm good at them. I know that I'm progressing in them. So when there's an area of my life that I've attached, like, oh, I'm good at that. I enjoy that. And even if I'm not great at it, like I, I trust myself to have the, res the emotional and energetic resilience to actually work through this and, and improve. Like it was so interesting today. It was almost like it just sideswiped me that feeling of you failed. You're a piece of fucking shit. I was like, oof. Hello there. That's not a very nice way to talk to myself. Um, and I would certainly never talk to a client like that. If a client came to me and they said, I tried this thing and I feel like a fucking failure, I'd be like, okay, cool. Like, feel how it feels to feel like a failure. It's not nice. Like, it feels like, it does feel like shit. Does, you know, it, it may well um, cause a dent in your self worth for a little minute, you know, but the real magic of doing the, the kind of inner work that I do and the, the energy work and the, and the commitment I have to, I don't know, to be, I guess to becoming more emotionally resilient and more self-aware, right? This kind of, I don't really like the phrase self-mastery because it feels like a lot of pressure. I'm not really interested in becoming a master of anything. I just like to be curious and have like, and explore things. Hi Eva, hi Chantel, nice to see you. Um, if you're commenting, I can't see you by the way, but I'm sure it will show up once I finish my live stream. So I will say hello afterwards. Please do tell me all of the things in the comments because I love to know everything, as you know, nosy know. But yeah, so I just wanted to kind of share this with you, um, mainly because I think it's a great illustration of how we attach our worth to actions and how we attach our worth to being good at something or seeing progression in something. And actually our worth has nothing. I'm no less worthy now that I couldn't finish that. Or that, you know what? I'm no less worthy now that I gave the fuck up. And as I walked out of there, I was like, I'm, I'm actively giving up. Like, I'm aware that I'm giving up right now. I'm not making any excuses. I'm not like, oh, I probably, oh, my back. You know, because I could have just adjusted stuff and said to Vamp, look, I had a back twinge. And so instead of finishing the program, I did these exercises just, you know, to make up the time and to kind of just, I could have stayed and done some stretching, probably would have been a wise move. You know, I could have just gone for a little walk on the treadmill to like get the blood flowing or whatever. I could have done many, many things, but instead I got in a grump, got in a huff, turned into a little stroppy teenager and I knew what I was doing. And I was like, do you know what? Fuck it. I'm giving up. I don't give a fuck. I'm out. And as I was, and it <laughs> as bizarre as this might sound. When I got into the changing room, I was like, oh, this was important. I needed to fail today. I needed to, 
quote unquote fail. Because I've got quite good at things. <laughs> and what I mean by that is I've got quite good at the things that I do. You know, I've got quite good at exercise stuff that I train to do, like the sports that I train to do. I've, I've reached like a level of comfort with the goodness that I am, you know? Um, I'm not saying I'm the best, I'm just saying I've reached levels in, in my physical pursuits these days that I never thought I would reach, right? So there's a level of like contentment and comfort there. And then when now that I'm attempting to, or I am, I'm just attempting, I am growing in, in that part of my life, in my training and in my Muay Thai and my fighting, that's where the lessons are being shown to me because it's no longer really money is beautiful and lovely and I love making it and I want all of it so yum let's go however I don't get the same because I've done so much money work at this point I'm sure there'll be more in the future don't don't get me wrong but um this idea of sabotaging ourselves with our own thoughts and not being aware enough to catch them but then also like if I didn't catch this thought, I'm still worthy. Even if I had a shit day as a result of this, I'm still worthy. Do you know what I mean? And this is kind of connected to this the open will center stuff that we're going to be talking about in the EFT for open uh, for deconditioning open centers. This idea that like our worthiness is attached to how much we deliver or how much we can do or... And it's just not like we're just worthy because we are. We don't have to do anything or be any specific way. We just get to do what feels good. And you see, my real, if I was to trace this back, if I was to trace this pattern of, oh, feeling like a piece of shit, if I was to trace this back, it's not actually because I didn't train as well as I would have liked to. It's because I didn't train as well as I'd like to because I didn't listen to my body. My body was tired. My body was tired. I could have easily just not done this session today, but in my mind I'm like no no I've got it I've got it in my diary I want to keep moving forward with this I want to keep doing it I've got Muay Thai tomorrow night so I I don't want to have to change my schedule around it won't work this is the only way it's going to work this week timing wise and blah 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 blah, blah. and my head was just going Brrr. unnecessary I didn't listen to my body if I'd listened to my body I would have rested and probably had the energy to train this afternoon and had a fucking wicked session but I didn't. I bypass my body. I use my mind, which is never anyone's authority. Particularly, I have an open head and Arjuna center. So I'm like, I'm open up here. Which means that, you know, sometimes I'll have an idea and I'm like, oh, I have to do this now because I've had the idea about it. So yeah, that's my message for you today. Your worthiness is not attached to any action. You're just worthy because you are. And sometimes when we feel failure or what we feel, like when we feel like a failure, when we actually let ourselves feel it, it feels so unpleasant and it trips this like self-loathing shame spiral. And that's why we just stop trying and that's why we stay in our comfort zone. So I feel like when we start to clear the path a little bit with the kind of clearing we're going to be doing in this EFT session, um, well, in the three FTE sessions that are coming up over the next couple of weeks. It just really lightens the load a bit and it helps you th see things a bit more clearly. So without having done the work I've done on these open centres, I would not have spotted this and I would have let this fucking ruin the rest of my day. As it is, it's actually a great learning experience and I'm really grateful for it because in a way, if I didn't fail now then it would have happened at some point because if I'm failing if I'm failing now there's a lesson to learn here and I'd rather learn it now I'd rather you know fully back myself have a little stumble and I'm a six line as well in human design so if you're a three or a six we're kind of like we bump up against life and that's how we learn right we have to fail to grow so get into it if you've got three or a six in your profile you'll probably find that you spend a lot of time bumping into life trying new things some of them will work some of them won't and it's really about what we make them mean it's actually not about always succeeding or when it seems like someone else does things it's like things just always come easy to them and they never seem to like you know like bump up against things it's like things just seem to be smooth for them it's cool like if you're a three or a six line life just isn't going to be like that for you and it's actually not about 
I don't mean that in a limiting way. I mean that in like, it's all about your perception. It's all in your ability to be able to see these things as lessons and gifts on your journey rather than things that, rather than roadblocks. See it like a speed bump. It's like, oh, okay, I need to slow down. I need to like look at this because there's some, there's some nourishment, some information, something I can really receive from this experience. So when we start to see these bumps in the road, these little speed bumps, failures if you will when we start to see those as places of nourishment and the places where we really get to grow then we don't we're not afraid of them anymore so we start to feel a bit braver trying new things we're more willing to back ourselves and you know hey Candice nice to see you girl uh, my little spidey friend yeah oh hey Michelle you're here as well all right let's just see what's this comment say I can actually see a comment here um i say this all the time i don't have any resilient momentum to keep going i always make excuses tomorrow is a cork i always use yeah I i'm i'm much better now like not making ex like making excuses i think i've just done um i feel as well like sometimes we make excuses because we're not actually once you listen to your authority so for me i'm sacral so once i listen to my authority in human design life um it'll always have the answer. So what happens is when we start leading with the mind, like I did today and ended up, you know, having this experience, when we lead with the mind, we are going to bump up against things that maybe don't feel so good. And that's just a sign to us that we were leading with a different part of our, of our design, which isn't really meant to lead us. So whenever we, no one's authority is in the mind, like literally no human has authority up here because it's too conditioned. It's been too too conditioned right um so everyone's authority is in their body somewhere and for me my sacral will tell me when to do things when is the right time i also have a defined route which is like the pulse so um i will have that like oh okay like now is the time to do it so the more we learn about this i know you're coming to do the the workshops with me aren't you so you're gonna learn more about this juicy stuff michelle i won't go too much into it here because we'll go down a whole human design rabbit hole <laughs> and my point today really was just listen to your body it knows and when you bypass it with the mind because you think you know better you're going to end up falling down a rabbit hole and if you do fall down a rabbit hole don't worry what you do and what you say and who you are, have no fucking, like who you show up as in the world in any given moment, doesn't make you more or less worthy. You just are because you are, deal with it. <laughs> and don't be afraid to quote unquote fail, you know? Don't be afraid of that shit. Just reframe it. Just remember it's just a place where you get to grow. It's just a speed bump to get you to slow down, to take a little look at life and be like, oh, how how and how did this happen how did i allow this to happen how did i create this because when we really take responsibility for ourselves and for what's happening in our lives we'll see that even the things that hurt we created we called in and sometimes we called it in not actively but passively we called it in because we were saying no to things that we should have been saying yes to and we said yes to things we should have been saying no to so if you're interested in learning more about what I've been speaking about, then this is all connected to what we're going to be dealing with, of course, because my life is giant initiation into whatever offering I'm creating, as we know. So if you're interested in any of this, um, I will pop the link to join us in the EFT to decondition open centers workshop. I really should have come up with like a catchy name, but that was just what came to me. It does what it says on the tin. Am I right? <laughs> I'll drop the link above this live stream in just a moment. So hang on. If you're looking for that link, I'm going to pop it up above and hopefully I'll see you in there. And remember, don't be afraid of the speed bumps. They're there to teach you. Love you. Bye.